Welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about the first DLC for Neo, which is called Dragon of the North. And I've had a lot of people ask me what weapons I think will end up in the first DLC. And it could be more than one, but there are a few that I've researched that I think are mo most likely to be in this game. Sash. Feel us of the light, rip my brand is blue, but the kid now he doing damage. You ought to know, like my name's Alanis. Say don't me, take a seat, young Christopher Hansen. I'll sweat all day. Just to... What's going on, everybody? So today I am talking about DLC weapons in the first DLC for Neo, Dragon of the North. And I did quite a bit of research on this. And I think that it's going to be likely two specific things that will be coming to Neo. I don't know about anything other than this. But there are hints in the game that kind of point you in this direction. And I will tell you all about it in just a bit. Um, I've had a lot of people, you know, they have said that the things that they're hoping for are going to be size, bow staffs, uh, nunchucks. You know, those are the three big ones that stick out. And, you know, that would be really cool. Um, I don't think it's going to be as likely... So, you know, whichever Ninja Turtle is your favorite, um, you know, that may sway your vote on what you want. But I think that there's going to be two more likely um, weapons that will end up popping up in this game. And, you know, to kind of further this just a bit, if you remember when this game was pre-order only and they came out with the Digital Deluxe package, if you read the full Digital Deluxe description it said that you know you would get weapons based on neo statues all over japan so you would get these you know dlc weapons if you pre-ordered the digital deluxe package that were based off neo statues in japan and that was basically my basis that's that's what i wanted to start with so what i found is there is a specific spot in this game and it's on this level right here the demon king revealed where you actually do see two Neo statues, and they are real. They look just like the original statues that are in Japan. And the reason why I picked these is because these statues represent uh, Agyo and Unyo, and they have very specific weapons that they are normally seen with whenever depicted in statues. So that started off the basis for it. Now, if you look here, okay, this is this is what you see in game. All right, so you have Agyo who is holding a large club, and then you have Ungyo, and, and I'm terribly pronouncing that. I know it, <laughs> but he is holding some sort of. It looks like a mace, like a small mace. Well, in my research, what I found was that Agyo is usually depicted with a diamond club. Okay, that is normally what he is depicted with. And Ungyo is normally depicted holding a sword or barehanded. So I'll start off with barehanded first. There are already mechanics in the game for barehanded attacks. There are skills based on barehanded attacks, buffs for barehanded attacks. So the first one that I will predict will be in Neo is going to be some sort of Iron Fist weapon. You know, something like gauntlets, you know, anything like that. That will probably make its way into the game. Because not only do they have the mechanics down for it already, they can really build on the platform that they have already made for barehanded attacks. And this is kind of a no-brainer. I see this happening, you know pretty soon. It'll probably be in the first DLC. And if you consider that one of the Neo statues is normally depicted as being barehanded or barefisted, then this makes sense within the game. And then the other one, and this is this is the one I'm looking forward to and it makes perfect sense within this game. And that would be the Agio statue and he is represented by holding a diamond club. The closest thing that you can think of and this is something that was, you know, all around Japan in Samurai era, would be the Kanabo. And this is a gigantic wooden club. It's like, it's a gigantic wooden mace with, uh, you know, metal bits sticking out to completely beat the shit out of whoever. <laughs> but, you know, this is something that I can definitely see in the game. 
not only was it used by samurai and you know it was pretty common this is also something that is depicted with demons in Japan they are actually you know pretty hand in hand the two go together so if you think about it you know demons and oni are related to this specific weapon in Japanese culture so it makes it pretty clear to me that we will see a Kanabo in Neo sometime in the future. It may not be this DLC, but I think we'll be seeing it coming sometime soon. And that's really going to do it for the video today. If you liked it, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you on the next one.